Okay guys, I've really debated and I have told a few friends that I'm going to make this video for a little while and I haven't really done it, but I'm going to do it now. And my whole objective here is to try to make you money. Now, aren't you mad? Aren't you mad at the big traders? Aren't you mad that the margin increases have turned out to be where all the little uh, or the smaller investors have been pushed out of the COMEX? In other words, you had to have $21,600 right now, liquid, okay, if you want to trade on the COMEX. So how many people has that kind of money? So they pushed the smaller people out. So what does this do in turn for them? It allows them to control the COMEX market, the paper. They've got control. Whether you want to believe it or not, guys and gals, your big traders, especially your four larger traders at the COMEX, are in control. That's why, exactly why you see in all the volatility. Now, they said at the beginning now, well, you know, this is to uh, stop or to reel in the volatility. It has made it actually more volatile. I mean, this is why you're seeing a dollar swing up and down, up and down, two or three times a day. Sometimes, I know you've seen it as much as two dollars. And they're making money on the way up, and they're making money on the way down. In other words, <laughs> they got a big smile on the face. So, actually, silver does not have to be back down to twenty dollars for them to continue making money. It just doesn't. If they can go up, if they can go up a dollar a day and down in the same day and catch the shorts, they made oodles of money. Okay, oodles of money. Five thousand ounces. All it's got to do. What if it goes up a dollar? Isn't that five thousand dollars? Isn't that sweet for a big trader? And then he catches it down. Then when he gets up to a point, I mean, all of them are in it together. I, I don't know, maybe they're tickling each other whenever it's time to send it back down. So they go, so they go short. And they make another dollar on the way down. That's another 5,000. Look, guys, I've learned how to beat them at their own game. And I'm going to tell you how to make some money. It's been working for me ever since September. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys now, you know, you know, I'm the kind of guy that always tell you I have nothing to lose. You know, if I hurt your feelings or I rattle your cage, so what? Okay, it's a big deal. Go on about your merry way. Well, I'm going to make money. And the source or the tool, I call it a tool, because to me it's nothing more than a T-O-O-L. Tool. Now, for you guys that want to live and want to buy by this code of ethics as, well, if you don't have it in your possession, you don't own it. If you don't buy the physical, you don't own it. If you got that kind of type of mentality, you just need to hit the stop button and go watch another video. I'm here to show you how to make money. Okay? It is with Silver Saber. I've been doing it since, uh, since September. I've been flipping my sales over to gold simply because the volatility of gold is not there like it is in silver. So what do I do? I'm taking advantage of these dollar, dollar and a half and two dollar swings by buying through Silver Saver and sell it off through Silver Saver. I can get my liquidity out of Silver Saver in three days in my checking account. Now if you're holding the physical, how many times have you seen it go up and then look over there and you see all your silver and you say, huh, I gotta box it up. It's just not, the motivation is not there if you're holding all the physical. Because face it guys, it takes a little bit <laughs> of an effort to get it together Go down there, buy your insurance, buy your packaging, and your postal, and then you gotta wait for your check. How long do you have to wait for your check? If I was to sell right now, what would it take? How long do you think it would take me to get a check? 
let's say, let's say 10 days. What happens during those 10 days that you don't have that money in your possession? The most important thing is liquidity. Being able to access your money quickly. So in other words, if silver shot to $40 an ounce next week, I can do a sale, okay? I put in my sale at before 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every morning, and I'll get the LBMA close at 11 o'clock. And then I have my money in my banking account in three days. My liquidity is on its way. What can I do? Hey, if it drops down that same day, if it drops down that same day, if we got a sudden sell-off and it falls down to $35, what you going to do? If you just box your physical up, what you going to do? You don't have your money back yet, right? I do. All I got to do is go to an internet site and pay by check. Five, six, seven days it takes to get there and then them run it through. My transfer from Silver Saver is already in my account to cover that check I wrote. And you know what? I don't have to sell $1,000 of it. I don't have to sell 100 ounces of it. I can sell $100 if I wanted to. All I got to do is mark that I want to sell so, 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 ounces. I got it coming. That's what you're looking for, guys. And let me tell you something. If you think that you can go into this and make money without a little bit of effort, well, you may be wrong. Now, you can still make money in Silver Saver because of the ability to cash in and out quickly. But if you really want to make some money at it, you need to start talking to people like I'm talking to you. Because the people that have I've introduced it to, it must have been working for them, or it is still working for them. Because I can see, whenever they make a purchase, I get a very small percentage of their total ounces bought. If they buy 10 ounces, I might get maybe uh, a 20th of an ounce as a reward to me. But every time I get that reward, it builds up. And it drops my cost average because I'm having physical rewarded to me. That's how you make the money. So if you got a dad, if you got a mom, if you got a brother, you got a sister, you got a cousin, you got some uh, uh, people where you work, and you know what? You can even go as far as introducing this to your employer. And if they want to introduce it to the employees, you get the benefits. But if you think that you're just going to walk out here and it's all happen for you, no, no. Uh -uh. The best thing to do is if you want to make money quickly and take off of that cost average, you need to start spreading the word and get other people involved. It's not like Amway, okay? It's not a pyramid because if I introduce someone to Silver Saver and they sign on, I get the credit. If they go and sign somebody else up, I don't get no credit from that, okay? No, uh, it's not a pyramid. It's only ones that you introduce. You know, guys, people say, well, if you don't, you know, have it in your possession, you don't own it. You know, that's a, is that a code of ethics? I mean, do, are, do they cast you out because you do it a different way that's going to make you money? Where else can you go and buy $25 worth of gold? And you guys say, well, I'd like to have gold, you know, but it's too expensive. You can buy $25 at the time. All you got to do is two automatic deposits into Silver Saver in the amount of $25 a month. So, $50. $50 a month can get you involved. And you start getting your rewards as people start beginning to sign up. Up under you. Now what's wrong with that? What's wrong with me doing it? And what's wrong with you doing it? If I can introduce you to do it, and you make money, it's not going to bother me. I'm happy for you. Because as long as you're happy, you're going to continue buying, and I'm going to continue profiting, and the same for anybody else up under you. 
It's about making money. You know, I can show, I can shut those YouTube videos down all day long and listen about these people listening to, well, if you don't have it in your possession, you don't own it. I don't have to go by your guidelines. I'm out here to make some money. I'm out here to take advantage of this volatility that's here and make it work for me. So, if the big traders want to take it way down, let me buy some. And then if they want to take it way up, let me sell it. It's, it's my advantage. You know, you just, guys, you know, if you want him to buy, 25, if you want him to buy gold and you say, I just can't do it. It's just too expensive for me. They sell it by a grains, okay? They sell it by a grains. Right now it's about $3.18 a grain. Hey, you get eight grains if you put 25 bucks in there. And it totals up. And someone else out there that you signed up buys gold, you get gold grains reward. If that person sells silver or buys silver, you get silver rewards. And people talk about a storage fee. Yeah, there's a storage fee. It's so minute, man. It is so minute. I think my last, it was, golly, it was, gosh, like a ten thousandth of an ounce. I mean, it was so unrealistically unimportant. It didn't even matter to me. It doesn't. Gosh, guys, this is something for you. And it'll work for you. If you sign up and it doesn't work for you, get out. <laughs> Just get out of it. You ain't lost nothing. Send you 50 bucks. <laughs> Cash it in. That's what it's all about, guys. Liquidity. Liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. And I myself, guys, you know, I'm getting, I'm very serious about this. You know, I've been sitting on physical before. And you see them figures come by $48, $4. It just, there's nothing there to really push me to have sold it at that price. But you know what? The silver that I had in the Silver Saver, when it was forty nine seventy five an ounce, just that quick, I sold. I sold. I got forty five sixty something an ounce, and I had a check three days. That's right. But me being able to know that I could sell it right now and buy it right back in is a it motivated me to go ahead and make that sale because if I wanted to I could have just waited till it go well I, well I did but I bought gold just wait for the price to drop and if you think that this is where you want to buy in at you don't never get to the low okay we never by the time it gets to the low and it's on its way back up again You've bought higher than the low, okay? Only way you're gonna get the low is by it coincidentally. That's just it's it's just luck. It's a draw of luck. That's it. But guys, you can buy gold, man. And it's less volatile. You can buy the silver, play the silver, sell off on the highs, and buy back in the gold. I'm buying gold right now. You know, I've been doing this long enough that I just hate seeing the volatility in silver anymore. And then, if things change, well, I'll do it another way. I'll do it another way. But I tell you what, buying in right now in Silver Saver at these low prices, I feel like whenever this happens and something does occur that sends the silver way back up, I'm going to be ready and willing to sell just like that. Take my profits and move it towards the goal. For what? To preserve my wealth. 